Hi James, how are you? I'm really good, thank you. How are you? Not too bad, thank you for joining me. Absolutely. Now, you're an actor. Yes. And you have a lead role or a co-lead role in this award-winning film, Soundtrack 16, and it's yeah. a coming-of-age story? It is, yeah. It's a romantic coming-of-age film, kind of reminiscent of, um, two, of us lot growing up in the noughties, really. Oh, I love it. A bit of nostalgia. <laughs> yeah, very nostalgic and really sweet and a feel-good film. It's a nice little comedy. And what character do you play? So I play the role of Ben, um, who's a 16-year-old boy and he's um, studying for his GCSEs. Um, and he's very like me when I was at school. So I was really caught up in all the, re uh, the revision and stuff and I wanted to get the best marks. And he's so preoccupied with being the best and he meets... Um, a girl called Maisie who's played by the lovely Scarlett Marshall and um, they kind of form a really nice friendship. They meet at a, um, a party and they form a friendship and they sort of have this little study group going on um, and it, it, the whole film kind of looks at how um, at 16 all the issues you're having you feel like the world's going to implode um you know typical teenage issues but looking back now like years later you're like what was i worried about <laughs> life turned out fine i especially feel that right now like obviously there's so much to worry about now and i'm thinking back yeah oh, i wish i was 16 and my main worry was like my maths homework <laughs> <I know. laughs> exactly exactly and obviously now is a little bit of a tricky time however you haven't been disrupted too much you've already had the premiere last month before we all kind of yeah. had to stay in our homes. Yeah. Uh, what was that like though, seeing yourself up there oh. kind of on a big screen? Oh, it, um, it was really weird because it's, you don't realise how big the screen is until your face is on it and <laughs> it's like bloomed up by like a hundred times, whatever. Um, it was really, it was really surreal, but um, it was really great fun and seeing all, and seeing the whole film put together um, like for the first time and all the little bits we, we did and then you're watching it back and you're like oh I remember doing that scene I love that scene or um, and it's really funny because uh, you and like I ended up remembering um, like during a scene the things that were happening behind the scenes and oh. it's just really nostalgic but it was really nice to see it all on the big screen and we did um it was in the Prince Charles Theatre in Leicester Square and we did a, um, a cast and crew Q&A at the end which is really nice, nice little personal touch. And now you're isolating with your friends? Yes. Yeah. Have you watched it? Because I know it's now available on streaming platforms, so perfect time to watch now we're all at home. Have you watched it kind of on your own or with them? With them, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with the nerve-wracking, what do they think? Because I well, feel like you're, you're friends, it's like, oh. I know, it's embarrassing. I was behind a cushion like, oh God. But um, they, they actually came to the premiere. Um, they really liked it. And then when it, it came out on May the 4th and um, on like Apple TV, Amazon, Sky and all that. So we just downloaded it like for fun. Um, and we thought, let's watch it again, you know, and just, it, it, yeah, it was really nice. It was really nice. Amazing, so you can get it now. You can, yeah. Watch it. Very exciting, but you're a very busy person because that is not the only thing that you've had up your sleeve this past year. No, no. You've also <laughs> co-founded a production company and yeah. a short film that is now on BBC iPlayer. I don't know how you've yeah. had the time. <laughs> Tell me about this. <laughs> so the production company is called Mint Face Productions and it's been set up by myself and um, five other friends from drama school, two of which um, I live with now. And um, yeah, we, we wrote a script, it must have been last year, summertime, um, based on a dream that Mackenzie had. Uh, <laughs> he had a random dream and, uh, and he said, I've got a really good idea for a script, let's do this. And so he told us the dream and we just wrote the script and we sent it into BBC um, as part of their new creatives writing programme um, and part of Screen South and they loved it and commissioned it. Um, and we got a really good budget and then we filmed it, I think last October or maybe early November. Um, and it came out on iPlayer in February. You know what? This dream thing, I think it's like a trend because I don't know if you've heard, you know, Matt Lucas is now the great British Bake Off host. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah, was because yeah. Noel Fielding had a dream of him hosting it with Matt Lucas and that's why they auditioned him and that's why they cast him. See, dreams, they're underestimated. <laughs> <laughs> I've enough sleep in lockdown everyone <laughs> exactly but um yeah the, the film's called ding ding next 
And so it's all about like um, speed dating, meeting modern technology. Oh, excellent. I mean, I've seen it and I absolutely love it. I also oh. love, um, I'm super impatient. I feel like I'm a very much like a millennial Gen Z person. I'm always like, I just want to see everything right now. And it's only like, is it 10, even under 10 minutes? It's six minutes long. Six minutes. Yeah, just under six minutes. So you can watch but it. You in get everything you need in one go. And exactly. it's fabulous. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> and so you're super busy, as we've seen. Um, it must be pretty strange for you right now because life has probably gone for a million miles a minute to like one. <laughs> you kind of sitting at home like the rest of us on lockdown um what have you been up to how have you been spending your time do you know what it's actually really nice <laughs> to like come to a halt and um like it, it it is quite nice because it's the whole country's doing it and it's not like um i'm personally ill and um the whole world is still going ahead and i'm missing out on things it's quite it's there's a, a nice sort of um collective feel to it that we're all in it, in it together and it's been quite nice to slow down um but what have i been doing or oh, tried yoga and i didn't enjoy it <laughs> i'm just not, i'm just not bendy <laughs> Oh, the dad was with me and that's like the kid <laughs> yeah, and then down the dog and you're sweating you're like how do people do this what's the one uh, the cobra and i'm always like looking like more like a turtle maybe <laughs> yeah and your neck's like strained yeah um oh, nice doing, and um i i'd never seen a single marvel film um and there's and obviously controversial it's a big yeah, thing <laughs> exactly and so i um um just got subscription to like you know online streaming services and um binge watch all of marvel so i've got three left to go so i've what i try to watch like one a day um is this disney plus yes it's in plus yeah okay, i'm obsessed that's all i watch okay. yeah exactly and next on my list is star wars which i've never seen either you know what i've I'm embarrassed to admit, I'm the same. People have like shamed me my whole life because I've never got time to sit down and watch it. I think this is the time. Yeah, exactly. There's no time right now. It's the best time. <laughs> yeah, no. What have you thought of Marvel? Oh, I Out love it. You what, sorry? Out of 10? Oh, a, a solid eight. I um, love that, love that. I've, yeah, I mean, there are some that I'm like, oh, hit and miss, but like, and but there are some that really stand out. Like all What's the Thor films. So far? Um, Thor, all of them. I think they're brilliant. And I really liked um, Ant Man. Ant Man, nice. Yeah, yeah. So I've got three left. I've got Avengers Infinity War, Ant Man and the Wasp, and End Game. They're arguably the best ones, a lot of people think. So, yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know what, though? I, I already know a, a huge spoiler for End Game. So oh. it's a bit like but it's fine. It'll be great anyway. Now, what yeah. I ask all of my guests that come on is what's your lockdown love? So what's the one thing that's kind of been getting you through lockdown, the new thing you've discovered? It could be Marvel, actually. I mean, you may have already answered the question, but is there anything that springs to mind that you have been loving while we're all kind of sitting around doing nothing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, things... One thing jumps to mind, which was, it is, has been sort of a, a running joke in the house. Um, so obviously we have the, um, the government briefing at 5 p.m. Yeah. Um, every day, isn't it? And um, so we try <laughs> and do an ab workout during, the, <laughs> um, during the, the briefing. And every time the NHS or coronavirus or the word unprecedented is mentioned, we do a sit up. <laughs> I love that. And it's been like a running joke, and we do it every time, but it's just a good, fun thing to do. Those meetings go on for ages. I know. <laughs> oh they, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's handy to know, isn't it, though? Like, it's always good that they're keeping update, you know, keeping the public updated with everything. Definitely. And it's good to inject a little bit of fun into it, too. So you're still listening, yeah. you'll know what's going on, but you're also keeping fit. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Best of both worlds. Yeah. Amazing. James, thank you so much for talking to me. Oh, thank you for having me. And, no worries and, at yeah, all. Let me Good talk. luck with everything. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.